Shalom and welcome to the Mitzvah of Torah. This year is entitled Kobe De Shemayim Part 2. The Gemara discusses uh, which events are under Hashem Sashkacha and discusses which events may not be and where a person could go ahead and protect himself. When do we assume, was, assume there's a decree that Hashem brought upon him? There's nothing to do about it. And when do we assume that, no, this is an area where, like, core of a home, hot and cold, that he could go ahead and protect himself, go outside with a few layers of clothing and not go when it's cold and subject himself to the elements. Tosa says, Alan, you should just know there's uh, per, uh, many areas that a person could go ahead and bring uh, himself into danger. She, a negligence, even if the Lord doesn't mention an hour daf, like walking on an area where there's a, a wall that's falling over, he uh, could kill himself even. And it was his fault. So we asked in the previous year, does it, it's, what about, there's no such thing as coincidence, what do we say? The fact is, this is a very, very delicate topic, and all topics, of course, must always be, all topics must always be approached with Chachma, with Bina, and Dad, first must look into it and analyze it properly, and yet there's certain topics that I think that just push people's buttons, some halachic topics, some philosophical topics that, uh, just has a person has a tough time looking at it in a clear, straight, objective manner. Uh, did not Israel certainly pushes uh, per, certainly pushes people's buttons? Head to Mechira, whether you could sell the land of Israel, is that logically viable or not? And uh, I think at least all kinds of topics and others as well. It's, it's not easy just to stay cool, go through the facts step by step, and analyze it. And there may be that if the person analyzes this, that they might find an argument. Or maybe there won't be an argument. Maybe it's totally different than what people think. Or maybe it will be similar to what people think. But it's, it's analysis. It's not based on just raw feelings. So this is an area where you can have extremes. Some people could believe that every single thing, every leaf that falls is, is a divine providence. Every bird that catches every worm is divine providence. And others would say, no, my divine providence is something that you have to earn. And great people have divine providence, and other people, well, it depends how they live. There's certainly a, a wide range over here, and of course it has to be approached like any sugya, any halachic topic, any topic in Tanakh, any philosophical topic. Hach will be the dot, slowly by slowly one goes to the sources, and lets the sugya unravel without any preconceived notions. That's how a London is supposed to be, as a learned person is supposed to approach a topic. So over here, does seem to be saying, the simple shot in Tosos, let's just at least analyze Tosos' words, that a person could go ahead and be grossly negligent with himself, with his life, and could, could do things that could kill himself. That's literally what Tosos is saying, meaning that it was not a divine decree for him to kill himself, for him to die at that time. He goes and acts totally irresponsibly. He does something dangerous. So a cure, a toy which Tosha says is a wall that's falling over. A person can think of other crazy, uh, risky acts that a person does. He goes into a, uh, a town that's a dangerous town. It's no different than a wall that's falling over. He goes into a town where the Mahavlim are known. It's not known to be a safe place where they welcome Jews. Unfortunately, the case could be in a a town of Mahablim terrorists here, or it could be in Israel, or it could be in Europe in certain places. Uh, it all depends on the situation of the times. So, he's endangering himself. What about if a person acts irresponsibly in terms of his health? He eats in a horrible manner, he smokes non-stop, and then he goes ahead, he gets lung cancer. So, Wittos has said, listen, it's a little bit uh, more time than a going under a, a dangerous wall where a person walks by the wall and it was, looks like it's going to fall and then it falls on the person, chas so there's a little bit more time smoking, 15, 20, 30 cigarettes a day, then he gets lung cancer. Do we say it's any different? Tassos may say, listen, this is exactly what I meant. I gave an example of the wall falling over, but over here you, Instead of going under a dangerous wall, you just brought in dangerous smoke into your lungs. So the fact is, according to this Tosfos, it does seem to be saying that, yes, a person can kill himself. And that's not something from Hashem. He has to take responsibility for those things under his control. 
are there areas under his control that he could be careful about his health and still Hashem will bring a punishment upon him? Of course. But there are times, according to tells us, that a person goes ahead and he truly hurts himself, he damages himself, and he kills himself. So yes, this Tosfos may go against the common notion that people have that, no, nothing's coincidence, and whoever dies, it was clearly Hashem's decree. The person could say here, maybe it was Hashem's decree to let him have free will, and his free will chose to do something that was dangerous, and that was actually something that could kill him. That's true. But... It seems to be that he does play a role. This is not only Tosa the Shita, this is the Shita of many, many, many we've shown him. And it's a show in the future we'll talk about this topic as well. Ashka Pratit. Shalom.